Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will see how you can transform the discrete random where myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. What is the objective of this lecture is how you can find the probability density function of this y when you already know the probability density function of the x. So that is the, what is the technique behind that we will see. Also we can see how you can find the probability density function of the y when it is of this form or any of the forms are there. So in general it can be of the any of the function of this form. So for whenever such kind of the problem occur we will think on the transformation method of the two variables. So let x be the discrete random variable having the probability mass function of the y of, of the p of x. Then our target is to find the transformations taken as the y is the function of the x which is defined of all the range of the x. Then there are the two cases in which you can define the PDF of this y. The first case is when this function is 1 to 1. Second one is when the function is not 1 to 1. How you can find the function, check whether the function is 1 to 1 or not, we will see in a couple of examples. So let's say first case we will discuss when the function is 1 to 1, then how you can find the PDF of y. Let's say one example is there. So if x is a random variable having the probability density function is there, then you have to find the probability distribution of this y where it's a function of 2x minus 1. What is given to you? So since this are consists of only three value, which is the discrete form, you can first thing is you have to write the probability density function of x. That is x is 1, 2 and 3, the density functions are here. Now once you will get the value of the x, 1, 2, 3, our target is to find the value of the y and the corresponding probability mass function. So first, what is the value of the y are here? Corresponding to value of the x, that is when you substitute x here, what is the answer of this? You will get whenever x is 1, y is 1, x is 2, y is 3, you can substitute here and so on. So what are the values are there? 1, 3 and 5. So the value of the y is R my here. Now how you check that whether it is a 1, 1 or, or not? You can see the value of the y are all unique. There is a no repetition in the value of the y. So you can say there is a 1 to 1. Whenever there is a repetition of the values, then it is not a 1 to 1. Once you will get the 1 to 1 function, then how you can find the probability mass function? That's very simple. Corresponding to y, what is the value of the x is 1. So what is the probability mass function of the x is here? What is the probability mass function corresponding to 3? The corresponding value of the x is my 2. What is the value of that 2 is my 1 by 3. And again similarly as 1 of 3. This is the answer of this problem. In this case we have considered all the 3 cases same. That's why there is no difference. Let's see here we are discuss about this one. Again let x be the number of the heads. You have to obtain that 2 times toss. So what are the outcomes are there? You will get either as a of either this out of these four forms. Now x is the number of the heads. What is the minimum number of the x is my number of the heads. So what is the random variable corresponding to the heads. I can take x as either 0, 1 and 2. So that's the required uh, PMF because if you think about here HH, HT, TH and here what is the probability mass function of the 0 heads like of this. This is 1 by 4. What is the probability mass function of 1 head that is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 1 by 2 and so on. Apart from them you can also apply the binomial distribution. This is ncx. All of you know that this is the binomial distribution n minus x. So half raised to power 0 half raised to power 2 minus 0. Again for here 2c1 half raised to power 1 half raised to power 2 minus 1 and so on. Now your target is to find the distribution of the y. You can find the value of y, substitute the value of the x, 1, 2, 3 in here. You will get the value of y as 1, 8 and 27. Again, you can see all the values are my unique. There is no repetition in the value of the y. So this function is my 1, 2, 1. Then how you can find the probability mass function of the y? For what value of the x? For what value of the x, the y is 1. That is 0. So what is the answer of 0 is my 1 by 4. Similarly, for y is equal to 8, for what value of the y, this is my 1, the corresponding answer of the 1 is my half and similarly corresponding to 27, the answer is 2, the right answer are my, here is the probability mass function or the probability density function. Look at the another one is there, so if you have some binomial random variable are here, 
then you have to find the probability density function of the y's x square. Again, since it is a discrete case, you have to find like this way, x is my 0, 1, 2, 3. What is the value of the p of x? You can substitute x is 0 here, so it's a 3c0, anything power 0, and 3, 5 upon 3. So what is that? This is 3c0 is 1, 1, 27 upon 125. So this is my 27 upon 125. Similarly, when x is 1, you can substitute here, you will get the required answers are here. Now, you want to get the probability density function of y here. So when x is my 0, when x is my 1, x is my 2 and x is my 3, what are the values of the y? So when you substitute here, y is my 0, y is my 1, y is my 2 square, that's a 4, y is my 9. Now you can see all the values are my unique values are there. So once they are unique, that means they are my 1 to 1. And what is the right answer of this? The corresponding value of 0 is my 0. The answer is my 27 upon 125. The corresponding value of the x of, is my again 1. So the answer is my here. The corresponding x is my 2. So the right answer of here is this and so on is the right answer. Look at the one more example are there. Now you can see here are infinite many values. So it means when x is my 1, 2 and so on. So it is not possible to, you can write like this way 1, 2, 3 and so on. What is the probability mass function is? You can substitute x is 1. You will get a 3 by 4. When you x is 2 then it will be by 3 by 16. Then it will be by 3 by 64 and so on. Now you can check that whether it is a 1, 1 or not. You can see when x is 1 x is 2, x is 3, x is 4 and so on, what are the values of the y? You can see y is my x square, this is my 1, this is my 4, this is my 9, this is my 16 and so on and you can see all the values are my unique. So it means this is my 1 to 1. So you can see this is my 1 1 with the values are here. So how you can find the probability mass function is, you can simply take y is x square. So when you say y is equal to 1 corresponding to which value of the x here. So we can get the value of the x as root of y. So I can substitute the value of the root x y here that is the required probability density function of y. Now look at the another case when the function is not 1 to 1. How you can check that it's not 1 to 1. So say x is the number of the heads appears in a two times tossing the coin. So it means your outcomes are like this way, tail head and head head. So you can define the x is my number of the heads. So the minimum is my 0, maximum is my 2 heads. How you can find the probability of the 0 head is 1 by 4, this is 1 by 2, this is 1 by 4. Or you can apply again as a binomial distribution, 2c0, half raised to power 0, half raised to power 2 minus 0. This is my 2c1 half raised to power 1 and half raised to power 2 minus 1 and so on. Once we will get the probability density function here, again we will apply the same rule when x is my 0, when x is my 1, x is my 2, what are the values of the y? So you can see here. So what are the value of the, this is my plus 1, when y is equal to 1 is a 0, when y is equal to 2 is a plus 1. So right answer of the y is my 1. 0, 1. So since the unique answers are only 0, 1. Now you can see there is a repetition of the values of them. There is a repetition. So what is the meaning of that? This is not 1, 1. This is not a 1, 1. Why? Because these are the two values which are same corresponding to x is 0 and x is equal to 2. So it is not a 1, 1. So once it is not a 1, 1, then how you can copy the value? So as you can see corresponding to 0, what is the value of the x? x is my 1. So the right answer of the x1 is half. This is my here. Same for here. Corresponding to 1, what are the values of this? This is a 0 and 2. So what, what is the right answer of the 0 is my 1 by 4. Right answer of the 2 is my 1 by 4. So the total answer is my addition of them. That is my again half is there. You can see this 0 is corresponding to 1 and the right answer of the 1 is my half. And this one value is corresponding to the 0 and the 2, so we can add them, their values, the right answer is my half. Look at the one more examples are there. Now in this case, there are the tossing of the three coins are there. So what is that? X is the number of the heads, so the minimum will be 0, maximum are there 3. 
so either you can write as a, all the eight combinations like of this way and then you can find the values the best way is you can simply write them as a binomial distribution n is my 3 3c0 1 by 2 raised to power 0 1 by 2 raised to power 3 so 3c0 is my 1 1 1 by 8 so this is my 1 by 8 what is that this is 3c1 1 by 2 raised to power 1 1 by 2 raised to power 3 minus 1 so 3c1 is 3 1 by 2 this is my 4 this is here so it is my 3 by 8 similarly you can find the value of this and this you will get the right answers here how you can find the probability density function of y again you can check for the x is 0 x is 1 x is 2 and x is 3 what are the values of the y corresponding to 0 what are the answer is 1 corresponding to them 1 is a 0 corresponding to 2 is again 1 corresponding to 3 it's my 4 now you can see what are these unique values are there 0 1 and 4 so it means this transformation will goes to the 0 1 and 4 what is the now you can see there is a not a unique values all the values are not unique because these two values are same so it means this is a not 1 to 1 and once it is not 1 to 1 how you can find them what is the value of the 0 this is corresponding to 1 right answer of the 1 is my 3 by 8 what is the answer of the 1 there are the two values so we can add them corresponding to the 0 and corresponding to the 2 so we can add them so 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 is nothing but my 4 by 8 what is the value corresponding to 4 is my 3 corresponding pdf is my 1 by 8 is the right answer you can see these are here these are adding of them and here so this is the way you can solve the probability density function of the discrete case so we discuss both the types type 1 and the type 2 when it's a discrete or continuous we will see some more examples on the transformations of the some two dimension random variable in our next class till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning